Stone Unturn and Justice for Josue, both promises made today by Mayor Sylvester Turner nearly one week after the 11 year old was killed walking home from school. Sentiments echoed by Josue Flores's family and friends who continue to visit his growing memorial, refusing to let this little boy be forgotten. They held a wake for Josue earlier today ahead of his funeral and burial tomorrow. Our Jonathan Martinez joins us live and Jonathan, the push to find Josue's killer getting even stronger tonight. Yeah, Dominique, it really is. You know, even at this hour, lots of people are still here at Little Josue's Memorial. They are doing anything they can to comfort his family. Meantime, there is a renewed effort to help catch the person responsible for killing him. On the day Little Josue Flores was brutally murdered nearly a week ago, Carlos Garcia had just gotten to his house across the street from the crime scene. Well, I just ended up coming home, find that little boy right there on the, on the grass laying down, full of blood. Garcia says the sight of such a young, lifeless body was one he'll never forget for all the wrong reasons. Well, Cabe had just barely arrived, so I'm guessing it just happened like a couple of minutes. Maybe I would have got here sooner, maybe I would have seen something to try to stop it. Or Monday afternoon, the mayor, along with other city and county leaders, announced a renewed effort to catch Josue's killer. All the police department's available resources going towards making that happen. There is somebody out there that knows something about the purpose person who committed this crime. At only 11 years old, the impact little Josue made is evident by the number of people still turning out to his memorial, many who just want justice for his family, along with closure in the form of an arrest. Well, I hope they catch him pretty soon, you know, because they're still out there. You never know. You might think he got away with it and he might do it again. And the mayor was stressing to folks to please come forward and say whatever it is that you saw, no matter how small or insignificant it may seem, that could be the key piece of evidence to help crack this case. The reward for that suspect now stands at $15,000 for his arrest. We are reporting live from the city's north side. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Mourners will say their final goodbyes to Josue tomorrow morning at 11. A funeral mass will be held at Holy Name Catholic Church on Cochrane Street. The burial will follow shortly thereafter at 1215 in the historic hospital. Hollywood Cemetery. In an effort to find Josue's killer, we want to share that description of who police are looking for one more time. He's an African American male, 25 to 30 years old, 180 to 200 pounds. He has short hair. At the time of the murder, he was wearing a black shirt, green jacket over his shoulders, and black pants. If you know anything about this killer, contact police.